Hey, Remarkable Lifers, this is Craig. And this is KJ. We are up on our terrazza this morning, just getting ready. Yeah, look at that. Get, Isn't that beautiful? Just getting ready to go head off to our lawyer's office. Oh, don't do that. So we're going to see our immigration facilitator. Yay. Yay. Um, can't give her your name. We can't give her name to anybody because we did get her information through the Mexico Relocation Guide. If you look in our description below, you'll find our affiliate link. We highly recommend subscribing to that. And this person has been phenomenal. Is, so Yeah, and the Mexico Relocation Guide has taken all the guesswork out of getting a nice, vetted, just real you know, source for assistance and help for all of these legal paperwork and stuff that we're doing here. Makes, so. makes it so easy. So we are on our way to our appointment because we are 30 days out from our one year temporary residency yes. visa expiring. And that's the point where you can renew and we're going to do a full three year renewal. Let's hope we are. Well, they have to approve it. I just, you know, I never, never count my chickens before they're hatched. <laughs> Make it happen. Be that's right. Be uh, what's that? If if you ooh, believe, believe it into existence, it just popped up on my phone. I know the appointment just popped up on my phone. That's because I put things on the calendar. Yeah, ooh, we're organized. <laughs> okay, we'll take you along with us. <laughs> okay, so we're driving along, waiting for the bus. Yes, we have a crack in the window still. We're working on that. But I wanted to make sure you remember to bring your passport and your residency card temporal uh you'd most likely be your temporal so you need to make sure you only, bring that it'll only be your temporal because if you're permanent then you don't have to renew right but there's other reasons that you'll need that for a lawyer but um for us this is what we need to have and then of course there's fees that are involved so we're going to document that along the way and let you know what it cost us and all of that stuff so. Ooh, a tequila tasting on september 8th there may, be a, there may be a video in the future. Muy interesante. Okay, so... In and out in 15 minutes. That's right. Now, we don't have our renewal, but no. the application process, the attorney had everything ready for us. Mm -hmm. um, we walked in. We did have to surrender our passport and temporary card, but um, we got our copies of it and a, you know, a receipt for what we paid. Um, and so everything's in progress and they'll contact us within a week most likely let's hope to do our to fingerprints pick up our, well to pick up our passports first right pick up our passports and, and then, then we go back we have to go back to INM and get re-photographed re-fingerprinted just like the original process yeah so we'll see um, exactly how long that takes and update you but the first step was pretty painless here's a tip though one interesting tip here in Mexico there the signatures on all of your official paperwork are extremely important. It has to match your yes. passport. So practice it, decide on one, and generally go with whatever is on your passport. And just use that signature from here on out because it will help you and save you a lot of trouble. Okay, next. Hey, Remarkable Lifers, so we're back. And today we are going to the immigration office to do our biometrics which is our fingerprints and our photos and all of that stuff for our three-year renewal on our temporary visas so we've already set up with our attorney um, she took all of our information got everything started and one of the interesting things is when you do that at least with our attorney we will have a representative here that walks us through the process so this is no different than going to the DMV or something like that but um, it's really nice when you have a representative there and you don't necessarily speak the language. So that's something that uh, you need to know. So that is the INM office here in Chapala. Um, one thing to know when you go in there, it is a little more formal. You don't necessarily have to dress up. Right. But no hats. Get rid of your, your gum. Phone. No phones. Um, no videography. None, none of that stuff. So, you know, be respectful. Wait your turn. Um, and they're very nice, but they will walk you through the process. Um, and again, like I said, we have a representative there from our lawyer's office. So, sorry for the noise. We're going to go in and we will update you when we come out about what happened. Okay, so that is done. And interesting fact, so you have to pause. 
Okay, so that's done. Um, interesting fact, they make you remove your earring, necklace, everything that might show up in the photo. Here's another interesting fact. I, I don't broke, know my right or left. No. I broke the camera. He did. He broke the camera. Hey, not all of us can be beautiful. <laughs> he didn't get that. I was messing with him, saying I was the pretty one. What? Yeah, but who doesn't know their right from their left? Okay, so I, they were giving me instructions and they said right turn. profile and he turned left. Well, I turned this way, I turned towards the right. They didn't correct me. Stick the pictures. I know. It was fun. I'm being though. deported because I turned right instead of left on my when they told me to. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> okay, ten days, maybe two weeks, we should have our new card for three for our uh, three year renewal, let's hope. Fingers crossed, <sighs> we'll let you know. Hola! Today is Thursday, the twenty eighth, and we are picking up our residency cards. That's Yay! Right. Three years, we don't have to do this again, so assuming it goes well, I'm sure it will, because everything's gone smoothly. Our attorney was wonderful, walked us through the process with her assistant, it was very painless, and now, it's the 28th, we're getting our cards. We'll show you! So we got them. Can't see the whole thing. <laughs> Not safe, but we got them. So you can see Residente. Well, your fingers are covering up a little bit, but yeah. There we but, go. We got our we got our three year renewals. Yes. We got our three year renewals, which is really really good. And don't have to worry about that for three more years. Yeah. So we just have to remember thirty days before. <laughs> I'll to remember. reapply for our permanent day. I'll remember. So that's a whole. That's the only other step. And then once you're permanent, you're permanent, and you have residency. So we will um, decide what the next steps are. Every day as we go along, between now and then. And now we have to go pay our immigration facilitator. <laughs> yes, we do. Now we have to pay for these. <laughs> So we wanted to give all of y'all the actual cost and some, uh, you know, more of the technical information. The first thing is we cannot give you the name of our immigration facilitator because we obtained that information through the Mexico relocation guide. Um, check down in our description below. There is a link to our, uh, there's an affiliate link so that you can subscribe to that service. It's wonderful. I'm telling you what, you will not regret buying that thing. It is amazing. The contacts that you get, phenomenal. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. Um, Craig and I renewed each of our temporary um, resident, our residente temporal um, for three years. Um, so the cost of that is 9,693 pesos per person, uh, based on an exchange rate of about 17 pesos to the dollar, which is kind of where it's been fluctuating around right now. Um, that's about $570 per person. Now that's for three years. That is the government fee. Um, our immigration facilitator charged uh, 3,000 pesos per person, which is roughly about $175 um, per person. So it's well worth it. Um, I've got the government website pulled up right now. If you renew for one year, it's 5,108 pesos. So by doing it for three years, you're getting um, locked in at today's rates for the next three years. And the government fees tend to go up every year. So, you know, you do get a little bit of a break there. Um, if you renew for two years, it's 7,654 pesos. Um, a permanente renewal is 6,226 this year. So, and you don't have to renew permanente once you have it, but once Craig and I finish our three year temporary, um, then we'll go for permanent. We'll be eligible to renew as a permanent resident. So, and we'll see what the fee will be in three years. Um, that's it. I mean, the, the process, Using an immigration facilitator for us just made sense uh, because it's so much easier um, than having to deal with the paperwork. It's one of those things where 
you throw a little money at it and it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, we literally just contacted the same immigration facilitator we used last year whenever we first got here for our Conhe process. We stopped by her office. She had the paperwork all printed out. Um, we signed everything. She took our passports. Uh, like four days later, we got our passports back. Uh, the next week, we had our appointment at INM. She had someone there at one of her assistants there at the INM office um, with all of our paperwork, walked us through, um, and we left. And then we contacted her this past week and they checked to see if our cards came in to the Chapala office on Wednesday from Guadalajara. They were there. We got there Thursday morning uh, to pick up our cards at INM. It just so happened the um, her assistant was there as well and she took our passports, walked them up there and boom, we got our cards. We were in and out of that office in like 20 minutes. It was wonderful. So I am going to highly recommend that you, uh, number one, purchase the Mexico Relocation Guide and find your facilitator through that because they are trusted contacts. And then, I mean, using a facilitator, it just makes it all so much easier. Um, and that's kind of what we wanted to go with because we have a lot of other things that we're dealing with. <laughs> so if you haven't already, go find your truly remarkable life.